What's good fellas, today we're here with the top 10 pickups of 2023 so far. Now if you're new to this channel, this is a series I started about five years ago where we recognize fragrances at the midway point of the year and talk about the best pickups thus far. Now there are a few key rules here. One, these fragrances did not have to come out in the year of 2023. In fact, the only thing that had to happen, which was that I had to purchase these fragrances or receive these fragrances in the year of 2023. Now some of these fragrances we've talked about before, however, some of these fragrances maybe not, but I am truly enjoying these scents. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and hop into today's list. Now the first fragrance on our list today comes from the house of Hugo Boss, and this one is a 2023 release, and this one is a Hugo Boss bottle Pacific. Now Pacific is a spring and summer fragrance that I've done a full review on. I believe it was a full review, maybe an unboxing, but nonetheless, this is the fragrance that you should have in your collection. If you love coconut fragrances, there is coconut within this scent. Boss Bottle Pacific is a fragrance that embodies the original DNA of what you would get from Boss Bottle, but this one elevates it quite a bit. I'm a huge fan of this fragrance and one that I think is going to be a summer standout scent for sure. Now it's great if you can get this one at a discount kind of price point because we all know how Hugo Boss fragrances work. You pick them up, they go to discounters for half the price. Nonetheless, it's a phenomenal fragrance that I am happy to have within the collection this 2023. Now the next fragrance is one that is a rebel, a bad boy so to speak. This one comes from Carolina Herrera and this one is Carolina Herrera Bad Boy Extreme now, I don't believe that I've talked about this fragrance on the channel yet, but this scent here is really, really nice. In fact, this fragrance came on here by way of a blind test with the missus. I was going back and forth between two fragrances and I had her smell one and the other and she said this one for sure but she did not know i poured the bottle up she said i hate that bottle <laughs> but nonetheless uh, this is a phenomenal fragrance to me this is a bold seductive fragrance that features black pepper cacao there's some vetiver here i own quite a few carolina herrera fragrances and i don't talk about them a ton and some of you be like yo b what about this what about that what about this what about that and i'm like hey man it's just not on the list but i do like it nonetheless if you're looking for a fragrance that's going to be great for that sensual wear but it's also versatile enough that you could just wear casually during a, a cooler day then this is a fragrance that I would say you should try Carolina Herrera Bad Boy Extreme Art of Parfum the next fragrance is one that you would wear to unleash your inner wild side. This one is a bergamot fragrance. It also features tonka within this scent and a scent that comes from a line of winners in my personal opinion. This one is Azaro Wanted Eau de Parfum. Yeah, this is the Eau de Parfum. Yeah, EDP. One, when we think about what Azaro offers within their fragrances. They've been very consistent, especially with this Wanted series. All bangers, banger, banger, banger. No misses, and this one is really no different. Wanted EDP is cardamom, tonka, daring, and bold. A scent that you would wear this one when you're in those situations where you want to feel like you're the man. You want to feel like you're gonna be respected. You want to feel like, well, she's gonna smell you and dive neck first. I mean, you know what I mean. <laughs> Nonetheless, an amazing fragrance from the house of Azaro, one that although you can't see it, you just know that this fragrance is working for you once you spray this fragrance on. This one is top tier in my humble opinion. One that I think a lot of people out there will enjoy. You know what you're getting when you get the Wanted series of fragrances, bangers. The next fragrance on our list is one that did not come out in 2023. This is not a 2023 release, but a fragrance that I did pick up this year. Shout out to Equality Fragrances for putting this play together for me. Now he knew that I was on this Pokemon experience. And when I say Pokemon experience, I'm trying to be like Ash Ketchum and catch them all. I need all of the Killian fragrances. And um, this is one that I was missing. So Musk Oud is one that he assisted me in picking up. I, I believe it was, I believe it was this one it was two fragrances if it wasn't 
Just accept it. <laughs> um, this scent here is really a phenomenal fragrance. The missus enjoys this fragrance every time I put this one on, so that is a plus. And the fragrance just really smells good. With musk oud, you are indulging in the finer things in life. You get this creamy musk within this fragrance. You get an opulent, uh, rich oud within this fragrance. And then you also get some warm, exotic spices that come together to really create a masterful scent that is difficult not to enjoy. Musk wool is going to be best suited for evening wear, but if you're like me, you wear fragrances when you feel like it, when you're in the mood to, and I've worn this fragrance on a ton of occasions when I just felt like it. One time I wore this one on a plane, so there you have it. I wear fragrances when I feel like it. It's not a overtly uh, bad oud, so sometimes ouds can be pungent. You don't get that with this one. This is a sensual fragrance that you really can't go wrong with musk oud from the house of Killian. For those of you out there who like to pull receipts, I talked about this next fragrance on a live that I did with TLTG with fragrance reviews as well as equality fragrance. And this one happens to be Yerba Pura from the house of Zhirzhov. Now over the years, I've had a ton of clones of this fragrance that I've enjoyed and I say, hey, it's time to get the real deal. And that's the difficult part about having clones. Sometimes those things are sent to you and they smell so good, you're like, do I need it? Do I need the real one? I'm never going to use these enough to need the real one, but sometimes you just need the real deal. And I picked this fragrance up and have been blown away. And so has the missus, which just added into the wearability and the likability factor of this fragrance all in. Yerba Pura features this juicy, fruity blend. You get a creamy musk within this fragrance as well. And it just screams of a sensual feel that just draws people in and brings them back over and over again. If you experience the fragrance in any of its clone formats, then you know that this is a fragrance that is highly seductive. A sensual fragrance that is good for anyone in the household, meaning that it's unisex scent, but this is one that I enjoy wearing and the missus enjoys it on me. Not a 2023 release, but it is one that I picked up in 2023 and I'm extremely uh, happy with that fragrance. Will not go wrong with it, Yerba Pura from the house of Zhirzhov. With this next fragrance, you can harness the power of the sun, and it's just a little baby. <laughs> the fragrance is from the house of the Harmonist, and this one is Sun Force. Now, Sun Force is a 2020 release, and this fragrance here is phenomenal. When you think of the sun, you would think of hot. You would think of Miami, okay? Maybe maybe you don't think of Miami, but I think of Miami when I think of the sun, and maybe you should as well. This fragrance really is uh, harnessing anything that feels like summertime, with the exception that there is some amber within this fragrance. You get florals within this fragrance. It opens up bright with bergamot and citruses. All of that brought together really embodies what you would feel in that summer, summertime. In the words of Will Smith, I mean, maybe he didn't say that, but you know what I'm saying. Sun Force is for those who are seeking just an amazing time, those who are seeking a sensuality within the fragrance, those who are seeking luxury within the fragrance, this is it. The Harmonist stuck their whole big toe in this fragrance when making it. If you're not from the culture, that means it smells good. All in, just an amazing fragrance that you really can't go wrong with. Top tier scent, the Harmonist. Sun Force, not to be confused with Stormtroopers. The next fragrance features crispy citruses. You get some earthy vetiver and you get some warm woods here and it's a extremely elegant, classy fragrance from the house of Tom Ford, a 2023 release. And this is Tom Ford's Great Vetiver Parfum. Now there have been the EDT and the EDP, which both I am enamored with. And this would here even more so. I did an unboxing of how many six fragrances that video should be out by now and this scent here is one of those ones that really combine that classy elegant feel that you would experience from the original gray vetiver and brings it even more so to life here. I think that this is one that took me by surprise. I wasn't expecting them to redo this fragrance essentially of how long it's been in between them, but what I'll tell you that this fragrance is one that uh, if you are in the office, check it, wear it. If you are going into a new job or a job interview, check it, where this could be one of those for you. The earthy vetiver is there, but it's not an overwhelmingly earthy vetiver where it becomes off-putting not at all um this one airs on the side of caution as it relates back to that but it's still a classy sophisticated fragrance that you really can't go wrong with tom ford's gray vetiver 
And speaking of classy fragrances that you cannot go wrong with, this next one is no different. This one comes from Fragrance Dubois, and this one is a London Spice. This one is spice in all things nice. When I spray this fragrance, it almost has this gingerbread-esque feel. It's inviting, it's luxury, it's elegant. This one is class in a bottle only downside to this fragrance is its price point this one isn't the most affordable fragrance on today's list in fact this one is by far the most expensive fragrance on our list today all in this is a fragrance that i come back to when i need something that's going to be uplifting i need something that's going to be different than the crowd and i need something that's going to be unique and help me stand out then this is one of those fragrances that i, I feel comfortable in doing now when i think back to fragrances that i really do enjoy i think of uh, my fragrance with Navitas Farfam, which happens to be that of uh, Verve Maton. That is a trifecta of spices that is great for the summertime. So if you're looking for something that's a little less expensive, then this is one of those fragrances that you should try out, Verve Maton from Navitas Parfums. But if you got the extra coin to spend, and you want something that's going to really be that next level fragrance when it comes down to fragrance collecting, then this is one of those fragrances that will do it. Yep, that'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> fragrance Dubois London Spice. Then we're down to our final two fragrances and this next one is one that really transitions from morning to night extremely well. Daytime wear to playtime wear with ease. The fragrance comes from the house of mind game so this is also a fragrance that is sensual and seductive if you want to play a little mind games with that boo thing then this is the fragrance that you could go for as well and this one is that of Grand Master. Now Grand Master is a darker, richer fragrance when it comes down to the Mind Game series. This one is in the black bottle, which means it's part of the dark collection, and these fragrances are a little bit darker and a little bit richer. This fragrance features rose absolute, coffee, you also have some lavender here that give you that little bit more calming effect, and it's not listed, but I get a little cacao or chocolate smell within this fragrance. There's chocolate in, in others listed, but I feel like that it's in here somewhere wear. Olen, this is a fragrance that, again, I enjoy. My 10-year-old son enjoys this one. He was choosing between fragrances and he was choosing between Blockade as well as Grandmaster. And he said, I want Blockade and Grandmaster. And, and this scent here is one that sensual, seductive, sexy, all of the cuddle body factors that you would want in a fragrance, it is here. Now, it's not best for, if you're watching this at the time of releasing it for a spring and summer, it's not the best for spring and summer, but it Again, if you are in a controlled temperature environment and you have that close encounter situation, maybe Netflix and chill action, a few sprays of this here can go a long way. A grandmaster from the house of mind games. Now the final fragrance on our list today is a 2023 fragrance introduction into my collection. This fragrance was not made in 2023, but it was introduced to my collection in 2023. And this one comes from uh, Louis Vuitton, and this one is Ombre Nomad. Now this one made my list today for a very different reason than some of the others. This is a phenomenal smelling fragrance, so that's not even part of the question. This fragrance made my number one spot because I've talked about this over the years, but maybe you guys don't get it as much. <laughs> so when you're doing fragrance reviews, people don't want to buy you like gifts of fragrance anymore. They're like, oh, you got everything you need. Why about I get it for you? You can get your own. You probably don't want fragrances anymore. And at times that could be true. But the missus got me this one for my birthday back in April. And she hadn't got me a fragrance in a long time. She was like, I don't, I don't feel like comfortable getting you fragrances. You got so many, I wouldn't know what to get you. And I think back to times prior to doing fragrance reviews, that was like an easy go-to thing that would cheer me up, make me happy, get me a fragrance, and I'm going to love it forever. And uh, she did a phenomenal job with choosing this fragrance and it was a complete surprise to me because, well, she hadn't done it in so long. So she does not know, at least at the time of filming this video, that this fragrance was making this list. She doesn't know I'm making this list, but specifically that um, this fragrance made the number one spot for that reason. Some things, man, you just can't go wrong with. And that's one of the things that uh, we had as a go-to when times were simpler and we had less than we had today. Like, hey, man, fragrance is an easy go-to. So there you have it, man. Those are... Uh, 10 fragrances that I added to the collection this year. At the time of filming this video, I'm probably around 70 
five fragrances added to the collection this year. Don't quote me on that number. It's probably close to that. But there you have it, man. Let me know what are the top fragrance pickups for you so far this 2023. You know that we do here. We'll do this video again at the end of the year with the top 10 pickups for the entire year. That's all I have for you today. As always, I'm your boy, Big Bit B. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again. And you already know what I need you to do. Just hit the goddamn